Well, it's Wednesday, November the 23rd, the day before Thanksgiving here in the States. Action-packed night in the NBA here on tap. We'll be involved in three games. Why don't we run through them now quickly, starting in Cleveland, where the defending NBA champion Cavaliers host the Portland Trailblazers. Cleveland, an 11.5-point favorite at Bet Safe, 216 the total in this game. Now, the Blazers have been struggling lately. They lost just last night, 107-103 to the New York Knicks. We made a little bit of money on that one, so we're not displeased with that outcome. But the Blazers have now dropped four of five, and they're just one and eight against the spread in their last nine games. So they've been among the very worst teams in the NBA to back over the past two or three weeks. But you know what? I think that's now been baked into the line because this is a big, big number here. The Cavs, an 11 and a half point favorite. I mean, look, the Blazers are not a bad team. Yes, they've struggled over the past couple of weeks, but still eight and eight on the season. They have one of the NBA's best backcourts in Damian Lillard and CJ McCollum. Those guys combine for 50 points a night. And someone like Lillard, I mean, he's liable to go off for 50 himself on any given night. Maybe a night like tonight when he'll be checked for the most part by the defensively challenged Kyrie Irving. Now you look at the Cavs, no doubt they're a really good team, but they're not unbeatable. Just lost to the Indiana Pacers two games ago. And moreover, again, this is a really big number here, 11 and a half points. I mean, Cleveland, only one of their past nine wins has come by more than 11 points. So they just don't beat teams by 12 or more very often. And again, the Blazers certainly not a bad team. Uh, Lillard and McCollum could go off. They could go off tonight, probably will, as a matter of fact. Cleveland uh, defense, certainly not their strong suit. I like the Blazers to keep this one at least somewhat competitive. I think 11 and a half is too many points. I am on the Portland side there. Moving on now to Detroit, where the Pistons host the Miami Heat. Detroit, a four-point favorite at bet safe, 189.5 the total here. Now look, both these teams have been struggling, but it's a different type of struggling. You look at the Miami Heat, this team has a lottery written all over them. They are just not very good at all. They have dropped seven of their past nine games, including a loss to the lowly Philadelphia 76ers on Monday. Problem with the Heat, they just cannot score. Uh, we know their offense centered around Goran Dragic and Hassan Whiteside. But they've scored less than 100 points in eight of their past nine games. That just does not get it done in today's NBA. Detroit, an excellent defensive team, so Miami should have real trouble putting points on the board tonight. Now, you look at the Pistons. They have lost four straight games, but as we said, their struggles feel a little, little bit different than those of the Miami Heat. You look at Detroit's last two games, a three-point loss to the Houston Rockets on Monday night, a narrow two-point loss to the Boston Celtics over the weekend when Al Horford had that game-winning putback. So I feel like Detroit has been close. Uh, obviously, they haven't been getting it done here in these past few games, but I think they have a golden opportunity here to take out some frustration on the Miami Heat, and I think they're going to do so. I like Detroit minus four there. Final game I'm on on this Wednesday, November the 23rd. What about the Boston Celtics going on the road to face the Brooklyn Nets? The Celtics, a seven and a half point favorite at BetSafe, 214.5 the total here. Now, the Nets are 4-9, and nine, and they're finally starting to resemble the team that we all thought they would be heading into the season. Everyone thought the Nets were going to be among the very worst teams in the NBA, but they were surprisingly competitive over the season's first couple of weeks. But here they have really hit a roadblock. Their defense has just been horrible. I mean historically bad over the past four games, all four of those games which they've lost, by the way. But the Nets on the season allowing 113.3 points per game, but... In their recent four-game losing streak, they are surrendering 126.2 points per game. To put that into perspective, they've surrendered 120 or more in all four of those games. It's only the fifth time in NBA history that a team has allowed 120 points or more in four straight games. I mean, you look at the last 12 quarters the Nets have played, they've surrendered 27 or more in each of those 12 quarters. They just cannot stop anybody right now, and the Boston Celtics starting to get it rolling. They're healthy again now. Al Horford back in the lineup. They've won two straight games, including a come-from-behind win against the Minnesota Timberwolves on Monday. They went on the road and erased a 15-point deficit in that one. I think the Celtics are just going to wear out the Brooklyn Nets in this game. Boston wins this one big. Lay the 7.5 points. Don't think twice about it. There you have it. Those are my thoughts for this Wednesday, November the 23rd. I like the Portland Trail Blazers as an 11.5-point underdog in Cleveland. I like Detroit Pistons as a four-point home favorite over the Miami Heat, and I like the Boston Celtics to cover seven and a half on the road in Brooklyn. Folks, I wish you best of luck no matter what, whatever you decide to do tonight, just so long as your interest 
Don't conflict with my interests. And hey, happy Thanksgiving.